Faction. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Kincaid. Yo, what's good, kings and queens? It's your boy, Don, and I'm back for another reaction video today. If you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit all so you know every time I post you are. If you're not new to the channel, you already know what to do. Go down below, hit that like button. Y'all already know. Give me a comment. Let me know when you first tuned in, all right? Yo, we do a lot of reactions, you know? Everything is like... I mean, obviously, I've been sticking to a trend lately, but everything is like, let me step up, you know? Everything is like um, up and down. So with this video, it's going to be the cop that racially profiles a lawyer and regrets it. So this is one of those where it might be justice served in a way. So let's see. You know, hopefully it goes good, and hopefully this lawyer knows what he's talking about, you heard. <laughs> and it goes good, which I'm sure it will. So, let's see. Here's my business card. I wonder what the cop racially profiled him for. Here's my business card. You got it. In Westerville, Ohio, that is lawyer Emmanuel Oluwale. On his own law office property, he's like dumping out trash. Alright, huh? If you don't mind, just so, yeah, if you don't mind, can we see your ID? Yeah. Well, that is pretty cool. That's a slick uh, business card. Yep. All right. I'll give it to him. Um, you can keep doing what you're doing. We're just, again, we're oh, kind of concerned. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seeing somebody dump a bunch of stuff there. So, okay. Yeah. 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 Just go on. Oh, don't, don't, don't run my card. Don't run my ID. Huh? Don't run my ID. Don't run your ID? I have no reason to. He is right. He is well, we're going to at least mark right. it down. We're going to take down your information. Oh, nope. Oh, right. Put it on my property. Put it trash in my Okay, but this is, wait, this is not just your property, it's several people's property. I understand, okay. but I'm not violating any law. So don't no one said that you're violating any no, law. No, 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 don't run my ID. I'm a lawyer, I know my rights. Okay. I'm not violating any law, I'm on my property, there's no suspicion, no one called anybody, so don't run my ID. I only mm. identify myself so that I just won't escalate. That's fine, but we can still mark down who we're out with, and so that's what we're going to do. No, yes. this stop me, this, don't turn yes. this into... An issue. Sir, you are turning this into an issue. We're just simply marking down who we're out with. Yeah. So he's I just going to write it down on a piece of paper. Oh, it's just, just, yeah. it's just your name. Why? Because, sir, we are out with you because we are concerned that you are illegally dumping. But, but you've, you've already discovered you want me to... At back. you Dang, that's crazy. Illegally dumping? I didn't know that that was illegal. What? Dang, that is crazy. You know how many times I put trash in a trash can? <laughs> like, dang, I need to tune in. This is why I watch these videos, you heard. I didn't know throwing trash in the trash can was illegal. That's crazy. But it might be deeper. He's saying something about it's not his property, but maybe he was dumping a lot of trash. I don't know. I saw one like trash bag. I'm not going to know. But that was pretty much it. But obviously, you yeah, know, they all started from the beginning, I guess. I understand that you're here, but I don't know if this dumpster belongs to you or somebody else in the... In the it belongs complex. to me. To you and you alone. Yes. Can you prove that that dumpster belongs to you and you alone? No, he does not have to prove okay. he owns the dumpster. Point, though, it? If it's also other units. So what? We belong to everybody. We're paying for okay. it. It doesn't really matter if it belongs to all the units. That's fine. Just give me back my ID. Thank there. you. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel Oluwali says he had no problem with the officers checking to see if there was a legal dubbing. The problem came when they wanted to run his ID. With no suspicion, just checking to see if there was a everybody, I'm David Schuster and thanks for watching. Emmanuel Oluwali says he had no problem with the officers checking to see if there was a legal dumping. The problem came when they wanted to run his ID. With no suspicion, no call to police prompting this incident, taking his ID and checking to see what it may show is against settled case law. Now, you may think, well, if you don't have any criminal record or a suspended license, why object? Well, the law is the law, and police take an oath right. to abide by the Constitution. Relatedly, legal experts say there is generally nothing wrong with an officer writing down on a piece of paper the name of somebody they talk to. Maybe the police want to put it in a report or a memo. But yeah. taking your driver's license and running a check on it means you are detained and cannot leave. And when there's no probable cause for such a detention, it violates the Constitution. Although Wally so, believes he was the victim yeah, here of racial sure. profiling, and it certainly seems that way. Why didn't the officers believe the word of this black man? He had his business card and a driver's license confirming he was who he said he was. His law office sign is on the building. This was a white man or a white lawyer with these cops have sought to run his driver's license. All the while he got his business card and license back without police scanning or running it. However, when the cops got back in their cruiser, the body camera shows they did a background check anyway. All right, just turn around and get out of here. And then we'll go. Wow. How's our minds? 
When the police looked him up, they confirmed again he was who he said he was, with no criminal record. The city of Westerville says it is now investigating the conduct of these two Ohio police officers. As we've seen time and again, police often misuse their power, especially against people of color. I'm gonna come outside. In Fort Myers, Florida, the surveillance video shows Jack Rodeman, 16 years old, texting his girlfriend that he was outside her door. Where'd this come from? Her family had given him permission to be there, but the Florida State Trooper thought he was a thief. Why is the police officer on the property, though? Rodeman fell down hard, hitting his head on the bricks. Oh, no. Rodeman fell down hard, hitting his head on the bricks. And he did it again while the biracial teenager was on the ground squirming in pain and posing no threat. Christina Rodeman, Jack's mother, believes race played a role. Totally profiled. That posing no threat. Christina Rodeman, Jack's mother, believes race played a role. He was totally profiled. That cop turned around and followed him back that direction. When you say profile, yeah, what do you mean? It's a black kid in black clothes. By the time Rodeman's girlfriend came out of the house, he was already in handcuffs. The trooper has been identified as George Smyrnios. In the arrest report, mm, Smyrnios George. said he followed Rodeman into the backyard because the teen looked suspicious. The trooper alleges Rodeman darted into the bushes and that his behavior appeared to be of a burglar. I just think he should have called for somebody else for backup. But I mean, his life wasn't at risk. My son wasn't fighting him. I mean, Jack looked totally calm. Yeah. He shouldn't have done that to my kid. Yeah, he was just standing there. His girlfriend's traumatized, the her mom's traumatized, I'm traumatized. Okay. Video. Yeah, we, we just noticed you've been following us everywhere. Right now? Yeah. You know why? Because you don't belong in my city. How we, we from here. You. But you understand, I know who my people are, right? Who belongs here, who doesn't? Who, who we don't? We got gang wars oh. going on, we got all kinds of stuff. And I come from the big city where this stuff's small. Yeah. Okay? So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Oh, yeah. we we don't, you said we don't belong in your city, though? Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. Say what you mean. You don't, I have never seen you here before, and I know almost everybody Man, here. I grew You're up in 101. Well, I, good. I, I, well, I graduated good. from England High. Well, good for you. My name's Mike Moore. You all right. Okay? Yeah. I'm not okay. from here. Okay? I'm so confused. My car. I'm about to get my dog out Oh, yeah. Thank you. Wait a minute. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And racism, bigotry, ignorance, hatred, stupidity, that's what comes to mind when I watch this video. You know, who does this guy think that he is? Was. I am not naive. Easier to watch. We don't, you said we don't belong in your city, though. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. You don't, I have. Yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty much it. Yo. I've dealt with all type of police officers like this, like. Most of these videos we've watched, I'm not even going to lie. And it's crazy, man, like how they just abuse their power in most situations. And to me, personally, I I can't say it's one specific race. Like, I feel like just the race of police. <laughs> like, it could be anybody. There are great officers. There are good officers, just like everything else. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. So... You know, you just got to stay out of trouble, stay out the way. I'm not going to lie. That's how you don't run into these type of people. But, like I said, you don't got to stay out the way don't mean, oh, stay in the house with them. No, I'm outside all day. All day. Only time I'm inside is to do this. So, like, just stay out of the way of danger. <laughs> Point blank, period. Yo, moral of the story is you are all lives matter. We're all human. Point blank period. You are just shot a video before this, but they go shoot another one right now. I'ma see y'all there. So beat me there, you heard? Peace. Love. Dumb. You know the vibes. D O N L I L R E A C T S. Y'all already know what to do. You heard? Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Thank y'all for popping out. Peace. Love. Don, you know the vibes.